Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today we've got a really exciting video because this is the brand new Mini Aceman. Now, at time of filming, the Aceman is available in a host of different specification levels and performance. We've got the E, the SE and the John Cooper Works, all with varying ranges and performance figures. We've got a range on the WRTP cycle between 180 and around 250 respectively of the models. We've got classic, exclusive and sport and we've got level one, level two and level three. Today we're going to be focusing on this car. This is an SE Sport level three. Prices for the new Mini Aceman start at just over £31,000 at time of filming. Today though, we're going to be talking about the exterior design, the interior design, some of the different specification levels. So let's get cracking down here with the front end. The design down the front is instantly recognizable with the rest of the brand new Mini range and even Minis that have gone before. You've still got this big, large grill down here, which of course isn't really a grill because this is only offered as a pure electric model. It still has the very same shape though, so it's very recognizable. The bumper down the bottom here, again, you'll see on other Mini models with this sort of split design down here. The new headlights, again, slightly different shape, hexagonal in their shape, are pretty recognizable from the rest of the Mini range. These are also customizable in the infotainment system inside, really cool feature. Then you've got these indentations here to the front, and it is a very different shape to the other minis in the range. It's actually quite more, it's a bit more squared off and just a bit more, I, don't know, I feel like it's got quite a lot of character to it. It almost looks a bit more like a face. It's just, it's really cool. I, you'll notice this throughout. I really like the way this car looks, especially in this specification as a sport as well, looks really, really cool. Sport gets the John Cooper Works designation down here as well, and I really like the contrast between this sort of dark gray paintwork and the black elements throughout. Front end is a massive yes from me. As we move alongside the car, it's even more recognizable as Mini. This shape is just so traditional Mini, only with a load of brand new design cues on here that I've actually seen on any Mini in the range. So first things first, you've got this effect down here in the wing here and over here. This sort of flag effect, which is really, really cool to see. These little design details, which you don't notice until you get up close and personal with this car. This car being, obviously the Sport has the John Cooper Works wheels, which I think set it off beautifully. Again, the black roof with the gray paintwork. The specification on this car is pretty much exactly as I would spec one of these. We've got the brand new door handles here, which sit flush to the car, really, really cool. And then you've got this sort of different design down here with the big angular rear wing, which we'll touch on a little bit in a sec when we move the car around and see the rear end. We've also got John Cooper Works designation down here too. And it's, it's a really cool thing. You've got these gloss black strips that go all the way up and over. They're not painted. So if you had a different color, they would show up even more. And then the roof rails, obviously, if you wanted to put a roof rack or a roof box or anything on there, which makes this car super, super practical and useful for any trips that you want to go on. For me, I think this is my favorite angle of the new Aceman. This new rear end, which again is very recognizable as Mini, but has all these new design cues. I mean, as a sport as well, we need to mention this incredible rear wing with these strakes that almost tie in beautifully to the diffuser down the bottom. Really, really cool. I mean, this diffuser in itself is really quite aggressive and looks super, super cool. New tail lights on this car, which can again be customized from in here. They're set at the minute to the Union Jack style, but again, we can change them inside the car. Looks really, really cool. And then again, you've got the black almost designation to the badging, which is signifies that this is a sport. We've got the S designation here in the signature yellow. And then if we open the boot, you'll see there is acres and acres of room in here. You've got your charging cable and so on in here. And then there's some more space underneath the boot floor too. It is a super practical car. And actually the dimensions are actually really hard to get your head around until you see it in the flesh. It sits perfectly between the hatch five door and the Countryman. Size of this car, absolutely spot on. Now, before we move to the driver's seat and talk about the design of the interior, I thought it was quite important to jump back here into the rear seat and show the space. Because of course, the Aceman is aimed more at families that need a little bit more space than you, do, than you get in the five door hatch. And I, I'm very pleased to say you can very easily get 
two fully grown adults in here. Of course, you've got your ISO fix everywhere as well. This seat in front of me is set to my driving position. I'm a 5'11", something like that. I'm not overly tall, but you can see there's still loads of space here, loads of headroom as well. And it is a really nice place to be, especially with the pan roof, which we'll touch on a little bit as soon as we get in front. But yeah, I thought it was really, really important to jump back here and just show you the overall space in here because it is very impressive when you actually consider the dimensions of this car and you look at it from the outside, you think, oh, is there not gonna be enough space in there? There is, there is more than enough space in here. It's super impressive. And you could definitely do a long distance journey as a fully grown adult back here. Kids will be absolutely fine. But now let's jump one seat forward and talk about the interior. Now then, when you jump in here, if you've been in any other of the new mini products, you'll feel instantly at home. I do, I've driven a lot of the new mini products and I've jumped straight in here and I know exactly where everything is. It's quite nice that there's a uniform sort of design across the entire mini range now. It means that you can jump from car to car or any of the mini products and know exactly what it's gonna be like. I love the overall design of these cars with the new fabric elements across the dashboard, the red in here because obviously being a sport you've then got no instrument cluster directly in front of you here it's all done on a heads-up display directly in front of you and then we've got this new chunky john cooper works steering wheel which is really really lovely to hold and use really great in this car and then as you move into the center it's all been completely decluttered there's now no air conditioning controls down here they're all on the big beautiful oled touchscreen and yes, it might seem intimidating at first, but trust me, it doesn't take long for you to get used to it at all. It's super crisp, super easy, really responsive. The display is beautiful to look at as well. I love the fact there's nothing down here, so it gives you a load and load of space to put your phone, charge your phone. There's two big cup holders down here as well. The armrest is actually attached to the seat, which is quite a funny little detail, which you wouldn't notice until you jump in here. There's then a cubby hole down in the center here. And then, I mean, there's design cues all over this. So the seats are these John Cooper Works seats, which are super nice, really lovely to sit in, hug you really well. Now, because this is a level three, we've got the panoramic sunroof, which actually has ambient lighting across it. I'll try and show that to you as best as I can, but it's really, really nice to, to look at. You then got these new funky door handles, which add to the whole overall look, fit and finish of this car. This car is fully spec. So we've got the electric seats, the Homicon sound system, and so much more on this car. It is a cracking place to sit. I just love the overall design of this interior. It looks ace, pardon the pun, ace man ace. Um, but it's just a fabulous place to sit. And I cannot wait to drive one very, very soon. And yeah, let us know in the comments below what you think of the new Mini Aceman. And if you want any more information on the new Aceman, please get in contact with your local Sitna Mini retailer for more information. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel for plenty more content to come. And there's gonna be loads of content to come on the new Aceman, drive videos on as many different specifications as possible. Maybe a few little bits where we get it together with the rest of its mini family, which will look really, really cool. But yeah. Just a first little look and walk around of the brand new Mini Aceman. I'll catch you guys again very, very soon.